In international discourse, they appear briefly as development heroes or security villains before being relegated again to the shadows. When they are valued, their worth is measured in terms of the benefit they can bring to others in the form of remittances back to their communities or through doing work that is too dangerous and degrading for citizens. They are the most common scapegoats in times of austerity. Their labor treated as disposable and cheap. We should be clear that all migrants are entitled to all human rights, that human rights are not a matter of charity, nor are they a reward for obeying immigration rules. It will mean taking practical measures to prevent and combat xenophobia, such as strengthening law enforcement and criminal justice responses, enabling victims and communities at risk to access justice through accessible complaints mechanisms, and collecting more accurate data on xenophobic crimes. Using a human rights-based approach will enable policymakers to identify who the most vulnerable groups are within their society.